You've probably heard that boats are a money pit. Without exception, owning a boat is analogous to burning money. Not only do they depreciate like most cars, but they are also extremely expensive to maintain. Not to mention, large sea crafts like yachts usually require staff to operate and a captain to navigate. While private planes can also be quite expensive, they frequently save time, and for the ultra-wealthy, time is money. Yachts, on the other hand, are purely recreational. Due to their lavish cost, yachts are a hallmark of the ultra-wealthy, even more so than private planes. Billionaires are frequently known for their lavish gadgets, including large super yachts. Most of the richest CEOs, including Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Elon Musk, have announced that they don't ever plan to own a yacht. However, many of them still rent super yachts to the tune of hundreds of thousands per week. For those who are interested in the high seas, billionaire luxury super yachts have become even more popular since the pandemic. Rich people's activities, such as upscale galas and high society events, were put on hold as international travel is more difficult. Due to the situation, yachts became an appealing way to host private events with privacy from prying eyes and cameras. While there are no official parameters to separate a yacht from a super yacht, many agree that the term generally refers to ships over 200 feet. Other experts posit that any ship larger than 300 feet should be categorized as a giga yacht. Either way, billionaires are building massive vessels, and you can check out some of the mega yachts owned by the world's richest people in this video. Before we dive in, make sure you don't miss our next video and hit the subscribe button down below. Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin's Super Yachts Both Google co-founders are among the top 15 richest people in the world, and they're known to splurge. Page's yacht, Census, is a $45 million boat purchased in 2011. At 194 feet, the yacht has ample room for a jacuzzi, indoor and outdoor dining areas, as well as a helicopter pad. Brin, on the other hand, purchased an $80 million yacht named Dragonfly, which was reportedly the world's fastest super yacht in 2011. It also boasts a dance floor and an open-air movie theater. Louis Vuitton Chairman and CEO Bernard Arnault's Luxurious Mega Yacht As the CEO of LMVH, which owns 70 luxury brand subsidiaries such as Louis Vuitton and Hermes, Bernard Arnault's reputation precedes him. He's been given nicknames such as the Wolf in Cashmere and the Emperor of Luxury, and his yacht lives up to his image. The $150 million vessel was built in the famed Dutch shipyard of Feedship and aptly named Symphony. The ship measures 333 feet, which is longer than an NFL football field. The Symphony boasts six decks with enviable facilities, including a beach club with an infinity pool and waterfall, helicopter pad, and outdoor cinema. The owner's deck offers luxurious private amenities, such as a full stateroom with double bathrooms, a sauna, a terrace with a jacuzzi, a private office, a lounge, and a deck area with a dining table that can fit 20 people. The yacht was designed to host 16 overnight guests in eight staterooms, in addition to 27 crew members. Arnold's interest in yachts was peaked after LVMH acquired the British yacht manufacturer, Princess Yachts. As if one yacht company wasn't enough, Arnold later added another shipyard to his portfolio, Royal Van Lent, which is part of Feedship. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's Range Rover of the Seas The late Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen owned the largest yacht in the world at 414 feet at the time of purchase in 2003. Regardless, at 10,000 tons, the octopus is certainly massive. As a multi-purpose vessel that can accommodate anything from galas to deep-sea expeditions, 
Allen once aptly remarked that Octopus is less a Bentley than a Range Rover. The posh exterior of Octopus has been described as timeless compared with the bland modern yachts in circulation today. Its exterior mirrors its functionality, which allows it to both explore the high seas as well as host extravagant gatherings. Octopus even possesses a steel hull, which enables it to execute expeditions to the Arctic. Intriguingly, Allen's obsession with airplanes is apparent in the Navy-like amenities such as not one, but two helicopter pads, as well as a large hangar. Though many mega yachts have helicopter pads, it's quite unusual to have a hangar. The other unusual aspect of Allen's yacht is that it has been used for high-profile missions to find missing shipwrecks. For instance, it found numerous World War II battleships and aircraft carriers, including the USS Lexington and USS Indianapolis. However, Octopus is not all business. It's fun. Its primary purpose is to entertain, and that it does. The ship contains all the endless creature comforts that one would expect from a mega yacht, such as swimming pools, libraries, dance floors, movie theaters, and gyms. As expected from Allen, the ship has some unexpected elements, such as a dive center with a hyperbaric chamber, a glass bottom deck, and a recording studio where legends like Usher, Johnny Cash, and Bono have recorded. A large deck houses a large yellow 10-person submarine that can take up to an eight-hour long underwater excursion at a thousand feet under the ocean. The sub has huge glass portholes that allow guests to observe underwater worlds. The ship, with an estimated worth of $325 million, can accommodate 26 overnight guests and 63 staff comfortably. However, the vessel can easily carry hundreds for temporary gatherings like parties. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' Super Plus Fun Size Yacht Duo. In addition to his interest in books, Bezos has also been a boat fanatic for many years. While he's been photographed on the super yachts of other billionaires over the years, he's now building his own craft. The yacht, which is more similar to a cruise ship, is under construction in the Netherlands by Dutch yacht maker Oceanco. The massive 417-foot yacht has three masts and numerous decks and will become one of the largest yachts built in the Netherlands, where many luxury ships are constructed. To put it in perspective, Bezos' superyacht is half the size of the Titanic, which was a commercial cruise ship, and it's half the height of the Eiffel Tower. Despite its half-billion-dollar price tag, the superyacht is insufficient on its own. Due to the tall mass, the yacht cannot support a helicopter pad. Therefore, Bezos had a second support craft built specifically for helicopter landings, which is not included in the $500 million price. Of course, this seems absurd to common folks, but for Bezos, it's just a drop in the bucket of his nearly $200 billion fortune, and depending on the day. It's rumored that the baby yacht will be fully loaded with cars, luxury speedboats, and maybe a submarine? The mini yacht is sounding a lot bigger than its first impression. Since only a few super yachts like Bezos's are built a year, most builders are sworn to secrecy and required to sign non-disclosures. Therefore, it's unlikely that we'll ever know the exact finishes and flares in the boat unless Bezos decides to share them. The luxurious life of billionaires often extends to the high seas. It's difficult to imagine a life so removed from any ordinary luxuries most people will experience. For these mega billionaires, however, these yachts, which are often analogous to small cruise ships, are just a drop in the bucket. Which mega yacht would you choose for your next trip around the world? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.